I think what I like about it is the fact that these are people in crisis. You know, you get in the hospital, you're in a crisis. You know, like nobody wants to be sick, and so it's like a it's like a parish, but it's a revolving parish. You know, you might be with somebody one day, you come back the next day, and they're they're they've gone home. You know, or whatever. So people are coming in and out constantly, but it's people who are in crisis, and and, and a lot of times there's two ways people can go. In a, you know, they either like draw closer to the Lord, like I need your help, Lord, please help me and stuff, and then we come in and help them that way. Or the other thing is they get like God's punishing me and they turn bitter and they turn away from God. And so we want to kind of bring them back to say that, no, you're not being punished. You know, we all go through things like this, you know, so you can work either way with them. And so the people are hurting and and what I try to do is I listen to them and talk with them and, and see where they're at and stuff and try to see where they think God is in this, you know. And, and the reason is because the spiritual can bring healing to the physical or can at least um, alleviate the, the, the feeling of like, oh, I'm sick, this is terrible, you know. Well, now, we, you know, you're, you're there with the Lord and He can help you get through this, you know. He can help you get through it. I, I know the sign of the cross and I know the Hail Mary in Navajo. I, the Our Father I have trouble with, but if I have it in front of me, I could try to say it. But the reason I learned, that I got to learn the Hail Mary was because for people who do, he said, even if you just learn a greetings, a few greetings, that means a lot to the people. You know, just to be able to say some words and stuff. So at the end of Mass, that's like when I was able to go and just, I say hi to everybody. Sometimes by the time I get the thing cleared off, people have zoomed out the door already and that's all right. I just go with whoever's left there. And I talk to them, but the ones who are not Catholic, I say, you know, you're always welcome here, you know, to come and be here. You know, the Lord is here with you and, and we want the Lord to bless you too, you know. In the theology of, of, of being sick and stuff, you know, you, you, whether you're at home or in a hospital, you're cut off in a sense from the body of Christ. But if we bring the Lord to them, then they're united, reunited with, with Christ and the body of Christ, the, the believers, you know. When I was at UNM Hospital, there was a young mother who was like in her 20s and they had two two little girls and the, and the dad was there and they were thinking they were from Mexico and that, you know. And I was asked to go in there and we would pray the rosary and stuff and, and I just, I was just saying to the Lord, you know, Lord, let me suffer something, you know, and, and get her better and stuff. She had a virus that went to her brain and that's usually like, this, and then she ended up dying. I remember going home and then they started crying, you know because we're physical people, <laughs> you know, we're body, mind, and spirit. We're all, it's one, you can't separate it, you know? And so the, the, the physical effects are spiritual, you know? And uh, I would say it's a, it's a very uh, worthwhile and needed ministry.